Where are we headed now, bro? Oregon? Nope. No? That's tonight. We're going to go to a junkyard and look for a rack for over the cab. And then awesome. Oregon tonight. I haven't uh, I haven't discussed what we're planning there, but we're turning a redneck rig into an even more redneck rig. Junkyard so shopping. Junkyard shopping. That's how we do it here on Camp Cook Cut. you got to be thrifty these days. got to make that money and save that money at the same time. All right. All right, we're here at... Yank apart and see what they have as far as rack systems go. Maybe we'll get lucky. We found a rack on an Astro van. It's probably a little narrow. Yeah. Well, grinding wheels do a lot of work. This is uh, pretty nice. I'm not sure how we could format it to fit, but it's an option for sure. And I'm sure it's really cheap. All this stuff, they give really great deals here. Yank apart in Polsbo, Washington. I, I like this one, it's an option. But let's continue our search and see what else there is. Blows dicks. Blows dicks. Blows dicks. Supposed to bang dicks. Yeah, well, if it bangs dicks, that's, that's good. good. It blows dicks, that's bad. Well, we tried. We found one that could work. We, well, all of them could work. It's just a matter of how much more energy. We were having some technical issues with the phone. Really have to get a new camera or a GoPro because I can't keep doing this with storage space. But Doug failed at Yank Apart. He says we don't have a feasible option here. So, we'll have, big money. we'll have to figure something else out. We failed at one task, but we're going to try to take care of one more, which is in the winter here, it gets really cold and rainy. We plan on heading out and looking at a mini wood stove. The guy builds them down in Oregon pretty excited about it. We could probably use it in a multitude of applications, whether it's a small tent or maybe even the back of the dump, or if we want to get really creative in the back of the uh, camper truck. We'll see, kind of play it by ear. It's a far drive to, to invest in, but pretty excited about it. our first Camp Cook video, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm not super good with technology, but I'm learning. So uh, we're about 10 minutes from picking up this stove, pretty excited about it. Give a little video shot as much of the shop as I can. The gentleman said he's pretty private, so I'll be respectful, but I'm hoping that we can get at least some cool shots of the little area he built them in because that sounds pretty neat. We made it. Doug, explain what you're holding in your hands. So this is a homemade hot water tank. Excellent. On the side of our portable uh, wood burning stove. Excellent. All right, go ahead, open up that front door, show us the inside there. And where do we plan on using this thing? It's going to be for the inside of our camper dump truck. Our comp truck? <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, the gentleman who builds these. He's out of Oregon. And you can see the shop's all set up. Builds them in all different sizes. Super duper cool. Super nice. They all get um, you know, just a really nice assembly. Really nice solid metal. Um, so it'll be exciting to show you guys these stoves in action, or at least this stove in action. I'm sure if this one works out good, we'll, we'll be back for more. And give you a little inside shot there. That's where the water goes. That's 
where we get the water out of the spigot and stainless steel. That's how you get the oxygen in. Pretty neat. Excited to show you it in action. Good morning, Dougie. Uh -huh. <laughs> where, where are we headed today? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to work. Are you in the mood or what? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine us sleeping in the back of a dump truck up in the National Forest oh, cutting trees God. for a day. I'm dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He worked hard yesterday. I didn't work that hard, so I'm a little more ready to go, but... We're going to head out here soon, probably drop the chipper today, go out, take care of a little job, and probably we'll, we'll look into camping later tonight. So we'll kind of do it in reverse today, but we'll see how it goes. a dirty job so we got the chipper dropped here in the backyard we are getting ready to head to the gas station to get uh, yep you guessed it some Red Bulls probably have to hit a different gas station because they don't have 20s huh it feel, I feel like this is in a freaking oh it is zoomed it's like zoomed in can't zoom in or out in this mode anyway Heading to the job. I'll show it to you when we get there. Hopefully, this one is actually small and not just misremembered by me. One of the hundreds of projects we have left to do is alter the way that gas tank fill valve is. Obviously, this is less than uh, less than perfect over here. But when you're trying to get something built and working hard on it. Sometimes just doing something rather than thinking about how to do it best allows you to complete the job. So we completed it. Just now, now every time we fill it up, we're sitting on the ground for 10 minutes. hasn't been here yet let's see if the trees grew so that has a tendency of happening you look at trees you come back and they grow and I don't know how that works it's a phenomenon somebody explain it to me see that pothole because I need to be careful of your ankles general idea here these are the biggest branches we'll be removing we'll take those two two bottom ones off there's one there and there's one there and that's about it those two and then uh, on the back here we're gonna be raising it up off the house because the uh, moisture gets held towards the roof line which is not great for the shingles also the gutters get very clogged 
And then the other side of the house is uh, similar to this. Walk over there now. This is the other side, not too bad. Probably a bunch of light chainsaw work with the ladder or pole saw. We broke our second section of pole saw, so I think we'll mostly be using a chainsaw here. But the idea here is to get it pushed back away from the house to where the homeowner doesn't have to worry about it for you know quite some time. Just allows the property to air, air out breeze comes through and these branches don't hold moisture too close to the roof or the siding for that matter have Doug getting the saddle on that way he can buckle in before he cuts these two limbs obviously could be done from the ladder but that's not a safe way to do tree work so always buckle in for safety and once these two limbs come off this is really going to open this backyard up you can see the grass is having an issue under these branches you can't really grow anything it's obviously a pain in the butt to mow lawns so it's a, it's real nice to just do some basic maintenance on your yard every once in a while it's gonna make a big difference
this is how we used to do it way back in the day cutting branches putting them in cutting them up kind of making your own wood chips it's a very slow process but not gonna happen poke a, poke a hole in it with the freaking uh the uh file the files in the doug broke his pants i don't know how it's in the side compartment but this is the safe way to do this because of the fact that coming down that hill with that chip is just too risky we are making some headway haven't been here too long looks real nice A lot more room. A lot more room off the house. Really dramatic difference. It's gonna be very good for the roof line. Okay, my eyes are closed. Okay, actually close them all the way. Okay. Stop. And take your hand off. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of work for a little man. And how did it feel to get all that work done? Pretty good. Yeah? A couple of spiders that I picked up. But... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you did a great job, bud. You feel good? How do you feel about working hard? Good. Let me see you. Thumbs up. All right, I'm on the rope. I'm just holding it till he gets the saw clip down. Then we'll let her down. Nice. She's coming right where we want her. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Uh let it down, Doug. And then hold it there. Okay, hold it there. I'll go grab the branch and we'll lay her flat. See where she's tied on. And this way we keep her away from the roof. That's it. Outstanding. Last uh, shot before we roll out. Got everything blown off. Doug's over there blowing snot rockets. We got the yard pretty clean. We got the maple raised up. Got the two cedars raised up. Real nice off the roof. We blew the gutters out. Looks great. And the side over here looks good too. This is very nice having this all off the house. Really, really important. And so there you have it. The whole house line is all raised. Looks great. Got the dump truck pretty full. Everett's blowing it off. We're here at the dump. Gonna let the Tommy gate down. Whoa, we got gas spilling. That's good for everything. Oh. We're gonna unload everything back in and dump it. Job's done. Truck's dumped. Now we're going to the burger claim is pretty good. We enjoy it. Ready? Can you lift you up? Uh-oh. 
Lifting him by his ears. Oh my God. 